Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour on ESPN is brought to you by the United States Bowling Congress. Ensuring the integrity and protecting the future of the sport of bowling. Bowl with us. By Denny's, where America's favorite breakfast is now available to go. Real breakfast 24-7. By CLR. CLR. All kinds of dirty, one kind of clean. And by H&R Block. Go to PBA.com and sign up to win tax services for five years and $5,000. H&R Block. You've got people. Probably a little action in Reno today on Super Bowl Sunday. Just, just a thought. Sh just a tad. Just a schmidge here. Bob Stone, Randy Peterson, back here with you in Reno. Our continuing coverage on ESPN of the Don and Paula Carter Mixed Doubles Championship. And we are set for what is essentially our semifinal. Third seed, a team of Jen Petrick, Steve Harmon, set to take on your two seeds of Sean Rash and Carolyn Dorn Ballard. And here is Jen Petrick to start us off. Play down, play down. Yeah. Mm. Good shot. Good shot, not a very good break. Bowling ball's hitting too hard, leaving that solid seven like that. Switches to a plastic ball. Good advice for you folks at home. Plastic ball straight and hard at all single pin scores. On behalf of everyone at home, thank you. You know, if you would start doing that, you'd make more spares, Rob. So that's my problem. <laughs> well, that, that, that and... <laughs> how, long do, how long do we have on the yeah, telecast? How much time do we have? Here is CDB, Carolyn Dorn Ballard. Her and Sean Rash in the all yellows. Good start for Team Beauty and the Beast, as they were dubbed earlier this week. No, yeah, no offense to Sean, but clearly that is the beauty. Yeah, and Carolyn had to ask. I, I, I hope I'm the beauty part. Now why would she even have to ask? I have no idea. That's outrageous. It is. It's not a knock on our friend Sean Rash. Well, you know, Sean's not. It's not like Sean's a, a bad-looking guy, but he does kind of throw a beast of a bowling ball, doesn't he? Oh, there you go. Way to work it in. There's Patrick Allen watching over his left shoulder there. Oof. It blew up around the 10. See, that was just shrapnel going around it. That's a tremendous amount of power hitting those pins. Just a massive cup in the downswing, the bent elbow, and then he just kind of unleashes that power right onto the lane. Look out. Mm -mm. Sorry. It's all right. Don't say sorry. <laughs> now, this is th these two are going to be fun to listen to today. They have very similar personalities. They speak what is on their mind right away. Now, let me tell you what. If she throws another one like that, CDB will not be saying, don't say sorry. Yeah. She'll be straightening him out oh, yeah. quickly. It's kind of a, uh, you know, we're kind of like a little uh, mother-son type sh She'll have, a little, she'll have a little talking with him mm -hmm. and then make him go sit in the corner for about... Uh, a little time out. Three or four minutes. Yeah, those don't work well in our house. Steve Harmon from Indianapolis in the second. Curls in and drops them all. Oh. Beautiful shot by Steve Harmon. Six pin goes to the sidewalk. Cuts the 10 out. Watch it. Big high backswing. Great hand underneath the ball. Six goes to the sidewall and does its job. Now Jen Petrick looking to double up. Get up, get up, get up. Serious. All right. Let's strap on the 710 feedback. See what you got for us, Jen. <laughs> strap on the 710 feedback? Boy, she's gotten two really good breaks thus far this game. That one right there, and then the solid seven in the first round. She's got to be saying, wow, it's my lucky day. Maybe I ought to go drop a couple thousand on red. 
What do you think, Rob? That's about the only gambling I think I, I can actually understand. <laughs> you have two, yeah, two options? Yeah, I'm like, I, I, I don't need math involved in this. Just tell me, <laughs> red or black. Great, thank you. Here's Court Carolyn Doran Ballard from North Richland Hills in Texas. CDB, one of our favorites on the tour. Come on, hook up. It's kind of an ugly nine. Right. Yeah, and, and she had the bucket standing up for just a second, and uh, after some dominoes, Come only on. the tooth pin, the two pin, much easier to try to convert than a bucket. A little bit. Now, she's looking to become the second member of her family to win a mixed doubles event in Reno, nonetheless. Her hubby, Dale Ballard Jr., teamed with Nikki Giannullius to win the Cambridge Mixed Doubles Classic in 91. Are How you about kidding that? me? Both, both. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's. Oops. Apparently, there's some type of paranormal activity happening on the lanes as we speak, uh, because for hey, both of them to miss single pin spares, it's crazy. Come on. That's your Flomax team profile of Beauty and the Beast. Well, so they have both whiffed yeah. on single pin spares. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> If you had a bet on that, you'd have lost a lot of cash. Oh, well. And they're not out of this. Let's make it three, three opens in a row if All Sean right. doesn't convert here. My Lord. <sighs> but, and I guarantee you this is not the start that uh, they envisioned. Right now, Sean Rash staring at a 2-4-10 split. Oh, boy. All right. All right. So, so that's... they're shooting one-on-one. So on. there they are. Yeah, you got Steve Harmon sitting down, a lot of saying, "Time to get up." And you know what? I'm getting a little bit closer to maybe my first tour title. This one is being handed early to Team Harmon Petrick. Gift wrapped. Bowed. Oh, help! Help! That's hot flush, brother. I mean, every every shot of his is a help, if you ask me. It scares me. Look at that hand, the inside part of the bowling ball to create all that roll. Now looking for a double to extend the lead to 33. It's been a tough start for Petrick here in this match. Get up, get up, get up. Smooth roll. Come on, Mr. Yeah! that messenger there after leaving a pocket 710 on that lane here comes a little revenge beautiful follow through great knee bend head pin yep here it comes i love the messenger that may be one of my favorite things about bowling in all honesty although i have quite an affinity for the hand bone i don't know if you've noticed Hook. Was that right. like it, soft. Wow. Struggles just getting it to the pocket. And again, when you're down by 33 early, it adds pressure. And then you know that you've got a partner that's relying on you, even more pressure. This is clearly not what we expected from this team. No, you really thought that this team was going to come out just guns a blazing and really Energy, light this up. Yeah. Attitude. Yeah. All right, a moral victory, a single pin spare conversion. They had missed two in this match already. So they Come go on. strike, open frame, open frame, open frame, spare. I mean, that's, that looks, that's, that's my scoreboard. And I'm hot on that day. <laughs> Move to the sixth. And a 2 a 10 Seriously, what happened to Sean Rash? Will the real Sean Rash please report ah, what the heck? to lane 23 and 24? <laughs> well, first ball he threw on that lane really reacted nicely, and he left a ring in 10, and the last two <laughs> have labored. All right. And right now he's second-guessing his ball choice. Come on! A game, game, game attack there, Sean. Come on. That one not too far off target. Uh, he takes a seat, and we take a look at our H&R Block second look, and Jen Patrick, or Jen Petrick, using the messenger. 
to her advantage, Randy. Well, she wanted to take advantage of that strike by Steve Harmon and double up. Beautiful shot by Jen. The conclusion when we return to Reno.